Was the summoning successful, Inquisitor? Let's just say I have what we need. Then all that remains is to find Corythius before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the Deep Roads? We could send word to Orsamar, a higher envoys too. He did that? But why? Either I close the breach again, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. Just as Corypheus expects, I suppose. Where is your maker now? Call him. Call down his wrath upon me. You cannot, for he does not exist. I am Corypheus. I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger. Bow before your new god and be spared. Never! As you wish. I knew you would come. It ends here, Griffius. And so we shall. not forget what you are. A thief in the wrong place at the wrong time. An interloper, a gnat. We shall prove here, once and for all, which of us is worthy of godhood. I came here to stop you, Corypheus. Nothing more.
a dragon. How clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will. If you desire death, you shall have it. I will not stand for this outrage. Paparati, nipping at the heels of your betters. You are nothing. All you love will be ground under the imperial my wrath. heel, little wretch. Destroy you where you stand. I will not stand for this outrage. Stand for this outrage. Enough! I will destroy you where you stand.
Let it end here! Let the skies boil! Let the world be red to sunder! Be power to finish this last right. The orb sustains me. have walked the halls of the Golden City, crossed the ages. Do not, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now.
Solus. The orb. I understand why you wanted to save such an important artifact. It is not your fault. Inquisitor, are you alive? Then it's over. How lovely. And the sky is healed, healthy, whole. There's just that left to remember. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold. A moment, my lord. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. It's odd that he would just leave without a word. You said he was upset about the orb. That can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. The fighting's over. Why do they want to meet me now? <laughs> You're joking, yes? They wish to bask in the glory of your victory, hoping that some of it will rub off on them. Everyone knows Empress Selene owes you her life and her throne. A thousand problems remain, and your opinion will be sought on each one, whether you wish to give it or not. I don't see what the fuss is about. Corypheus needed to be stopped. And you are the one who stopped him. Previously, you were an upstart. 
nothing more than a leader of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature, the ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Imagining it, or do we have a moment to breathe? <laughs> I can scarcely believe it. The Conclave, Haven, it seems so long ago. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks, the pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference that we will continue to do so. Our soldiers put their trust in you, Cullen. I appreciate everything you've done. It's been an honor, truly. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. I'm thinking, this shit is weird. The Inquisitor Trevelyan story. What do you think? It's a working title. I'm glad you've gone back to writing. Well, nothing certain until it's in print. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention, I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. Don't divide your efforts. The people of the free marches are more important than a story. As it happens, I agree with you. Kirkwall is in bad shape, and a lot of other city-states were hit hard by the war. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. I can't leave until you can bluff at least a little. So it's over. The battle's finally won. The breach sealed and Corypheus dead. You played a big part. I won't forget it. You may never forgive me for what I did. But thank you anyway. You gave me the chance to fight for something. Something good. So, demons, dragons, giant asshole vint on a big magic rock. You don't let it get dull, boss. Good stuff. You helped make it possible, Bull. That's what they pay me for. <laughs> the Ben Hathrath are still worried about the Inquisition's power. Happy Corypheus is dead, though. I expect they'll call me back for a more detailed report. Not many experts on demons and old magisters under the cube. I hope the Ben Hasrath appreciate the good work you've done here. It's not about appreciation under the cube. It's about doing the job, belonging. And we've got some time. Corypheus was a busy guy. I figure we've still got some cleanup work to do. But not tonight. Tonight. We get shit-faced one last time. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. I couldn't come with you. He would have bound me, broken me, made me a monster. But he's dead now. So I'm safe. I'm glad to hear it. What happens next? Where do we go? For tonight, we remind the world and each other that we're alive. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay.
Time they got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andraste's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for, you know, everything ever again. I mean, is this for us or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there and I still don't know what's real. In the wake of this mess, people should think whatever brings them comfort. So, you don't know? Like everyone else? Fine. Put it all behind us. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Rio. That's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? For whatever? This is home, if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you. I cry. I'm punching everyone. All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning. Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. That's what happens when you're a hero. Is that so? Must be why it's so unfamiliar. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. You're an example of how noble Tavinta could be. For southerners, maybe. Back home, they'll be rolling their eyes behind their fans. Meanwhile, they'll conveniently forget the bastards who wanted Corypheus ruling us all. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. You will? Tavinta lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. Ugh, oh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry, nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. I hope you're not just saying that. You're not, are you? What a disaster. So many was late, the invitation to our guests barely went out at all, and... and... It was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Vedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never forget those we lost, but for tonight, to victory. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the petit four. I must remember to thank her for the trouble. <laughs> She's been craving the cakes from Madame Lucien's shop for months. This celebration gave her the perfect excuse. To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry, build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. So we should be. Defeating Corypheus was no simple task. He was so confident of his power, he could not conceive of losing. If he could, he would never have challenged me. And he would have gone into hiding. Yes. It worked out far better this way. It's odd, isn't it? I was almost certain the Maker was playing some cosmic joke on me, on us all. Yet you were exactly what we needed. No matter what comes next, I will remember that. So much to do, my dear. I'll be returning to Valvoyor to organize the Loyalist Mages. 
The Empress requires my expertise during what is sure to be a difficult transition. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. I'm too preoccupied contemplating what comes next. A moment of reflection, my dear. Will wonders never cease? Go mingle. The night is still young. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against Chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, the elven resistance pacified, but it is said Gaspar yet plots his return from exile. How long before the Empress missteps and he raises banners once more? This fear hounds her every move. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the Shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Hawk is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Leliana as successor to the Sunburst Throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The Mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise, resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. She does not fight them, and it is not long before the Chantry's fractures threaten to tear it apart forever. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. When Leliana disbands the circles, they leave the Inquisition and reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow Mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. For the moment, it appears to be working. Mages are enjoying unprecedented acceptance throughout Thedas. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its web of influence is felt in every hall. Through diplomacy and the trading of favors, it has gathered the power to shake kingdoms. I leave Skyhold now, 
knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready.
still searching for someone to lead me. Can you guide me to the revolt inside me? Promise surviving the breach. Promise surviving the breach. Sky. Damn.
You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well. Oh, 